welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today we're going to do a crepe cake, which I think is always impressive and delicious. We're going to do my basic crepe uh, dough that we've done before on the channel. This is a neutral base. It has sugar and salt, but that's only to give it flavor, but you can use it for both savory and sweet fillings. We're going to do a whipped cream uh, filling with almond praline, which is delicious. So this is going to be a really nice cake. As always, to get the full recipe, all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this crepe cake, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. To start, we're going to do the crepe dough because it needs to rest before we actually make the crepes. I have here flour, salt and sugar and we're going to mix it with milk, um, eggs and also melted butter. As always, if you don't want to get any lumps, what you need to do is start mixing from the center and slowly incorporating the dry ingredients on the side. At the very end, I'm going to add the butter in a drizzle just to make sure that it incorporates nicely to the mix. Now the recipe needs to rest in the fridge for at least 30 minutes, but if you're doing it for a day, in particular, you can make it the night before and just leave it in the fridge and then the next day you can use it. We're going to do the rest of our components while that waits because they both need to cool down. And then we're going to do the uh, almond praline. What that means is that we're going to make a layer of sugar on here and we're going to let it caramelize nicely. And the easiest way that this works for me is you have it on medium, medium low heat and you're going to make a thin layer of sugar. As that melts, you're going to add some more sugar on top and like that until you have it all nice and mel melted and very golden. You don't want it to burn because then it will get a bitter taste. You don't want to stir it with anything at this point because if you put any utensil inside, it can make it crystallize. It's really important that whenever you're making caramel, you keep kids away because it's really hot and dangerous. So this part, you can tell them to look from far away or just stay away from the kitchen. At the end, we're just going to mix in some almonds and transfer them to a silk pad. You can also use a baking paper for this and it's going to harden here and when it's completely cold, remember that this is really, really hot while it's hot, we are going to chop it up and just use it later. We're going to roughly chop the praline before adding it to the food processor and once it's in here, you want to process it to a fine uh, sort of, not a powder, but you know, small pieces and don't process it too long or it will go into a paste. Now that our dough has rested and we have everything else ready, I'm going to pass it through a sieve because we want to catch any impurities or bits of flour that we weren't able to mix into it and just have a perfect and smooth dough. Then we're going to cook it. To cook the crepes, we want them really nice and thin. So for that, we're going to brush a tiny bit of butter on the base. And as soon as you put the dough inside, you want to put the pan completely vertical so that it can cover in a nice thin layer. Once it's golden around the edges, then you know it's time to flip it. Now for a perfect result, I'm going to remove the edges which are a bit different from one another. You can use anything that's round. I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to cut it using a really sharp knife. Now 
Now we're going to make some whipped cream. So make sure that your whipping cream is cold and we're going to mix it with some icing sugar. That was my crab cake with almond praline. I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put a thumbs up to this video. It makes me really, really happy. Please, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the vlog, don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.